The Lubeznik Center for the Art participates in the celebration of the Uptown Arts District First Friday. This past August we had Marco Salazar who is a muralist and a graffiti artist. He came and he graffitied my car in front of 300 people. It was, it was amazing to watch him. The, the Lebesnik Center project was a very interesting one. But Mark and I consulted for all of about two minutes. Yeah, they wanted something a little more cutting edge, uh, something a little more grit. And the only thing he really told me to do was just make sure that I brought a clean car. So it ended up being a lot more spontaneous, a lot more improvisational. And then he, he completely scrubbed off the finish on the car, which was gold. And up to the time when uh, the event started, I still had no idea exactly what uh, outcome was going to come out of this uh, out of this design. So it was a bit nerve-wracking with 250 set of eyes uh, watching us produce this within three hours. And then proceeded to spray paint it silver. And then after silver, that's when the magic started to happen. My mother found this lady who was uh, a retired art school instructor and was teaching private oil painting classes here in town. I had my first gallery exhibition when I was 12 uh, with a submission of framed oil paintings, uh, landscapes and still lifes. But um, at that time when I was uh, going into my young adolescence, uh, there was this movement, the hip hop graffiti movement that was emerging. And I was uh, overwhelmed by, by that, uh, expressing yourself through art. And, uh, you know, being born and raised in East Chicago, uh, in that particular demographic at that particular time, there was a big, uh, a, a big surge of the graffiti art movement. Uh, the whole hip hop movement uh, altogether, which uh, encompassed four elements of, of hip hop. One being the dance, the break dance, the, the second was the lyrical, was the rapper. Uh, the third was the producer, the DJ, and uh, but the fourth one was the uh, artistic one, which was the graffiti art movement. Um, so once I was exposed to that, that just uh, took my traditional art into a whole different realm. Uh, it got exposed to the colors, to the shapes, to the movements of graffiti art. Um, the way it would work uh, back then were you'd have these competing crews. Uh, and of course I was part of the Hitman bombing crew and there was another group, a crew called the Tough Boys. And we, it wasn't in any way like, like gangs or whatever. It was just these, these artists who would try to outdo each other with different styles and, and, and you know we would get uh, permission to paint on garages or sides of businesses and you put up some murals um, and and that's what we would use to kind of compete against different crews that's what gave me the kind of the the, the large-scale approach as far as looking at my work and how big I can do it and he was completely unaware of all of it as he danced around the car painting these wonderful swirls and this imaginative use of color. With my traditional art training and my uh, revolutionary approach of graffiti art, there's this marriage. And, and you know, uh, graffiti art is considered one of the last American folk arts. It's American as rock and roll, jazz, and apple pie. Um, it was born here, it was, it was uh, invented here, and now it's a global phenomenon. Um, it, it is a vehicle that's used by modern advertisers and media companies, fashion, industry, uh, you know, uh, so many different facets uh, that graffiti art has integrated into, um, and, and it's, 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 it's all American. Watching Marco work was something that we still are hearing about. We're getting phone calls even today about when, it, when can we see the finished product and it's generated so much excitement and that's what art is all about. It should provoke conversation and delight and it's when I'm on the road. I get lots of thumbs up. I get lots of people slowing down to look at the car. I, I think of it as cosmic camouflage because it sparkles in the moonlight and it just, it's dazzling in the sunlight. 
but uh, I was very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, it had a lot of flow, it had a lot of uh, good organic colors and scheme and design. Um, so yeah, that's one that I was really happy with. He just became one with the car and it was such a beautiful event. Mm -hmm.